We're going to look at a sample of some of the connectors used to join service drop wires to service entrance wires, secondary mains, and transformer secondaries. There are a variety of connectors available. They come in different sizes to accommodate different wire sizes. And they come in different shapes depending on the manufacturer's design. Basically, there are two main categories of service connectors, mechanical and compression. Mechanical connectors are typically bolted onto conductors. For example, this is a split bolt connector. It's sometimes referred to as a bug. The bolt part of the connector is a threaded bolt. A groove is cut through the middle from the tip of the bolt to the head. The nut has a bar that is permanently mounted through it. The wires that are to be connected together are placed in the groove and the nut is threaded onto the bolt and tightened down to make a firm mechanical and electrical connection. As with other service connectors, the split bolt connector comes in a variety of sizes. Here's another mechanical connector. This one is a single bolt parallel groove connector. It has a single threaded bolt that fits through two plates. The wires that are to be connected together are placed between the plates on opposite sides of the bolt. A nut is threaded onto the bolt and tightened down to force the plates together, securing the wires and making a firm mechanical and electrical connection. This mechanical connector is a variation of the single bolt parallel groove connector that we just looked at. It has a single threaded bolt, but instead of the two plane plates, this connector has two halves that mesh together. Inside each half are toothed contacts. Each wire that is to be connected is placed in one groove and pushed through the connector until it touches the connector end tab. The tab can be easily knocked out if, for example, one of the wires is continuous, such as a secondary main. The bolt is tightened down so that the toothed contacts securely grip the wires. If the wire has a covering, the teeth will pierce the covering and make a good electrical connection. You may have also noticed that this particular connector has a grease-like coating on its metal surfaces. This is an oxide inhibitor. It prevents oxidation and corrosion. Some connectors come with the inhibitor already on it. For others, like the split bolt connector, you have to apply the inhibitor when you make the connection. These are just a few of the mechanical connectors that you may use when making service connections. A couple of advantages of mechanical connectors are that they can be removed and reused, and they're installed with standard wrenches. No special tools are needed. One disadvantage is that mechanical connectors have a tendency to loosen up over time.